Hello everybody, I'm Steve Pollock with ESPN 1420. And I'm Chris Reed from Hot 107.9. And we are tag team partners here for Wrestle Rap. Yes, this is the premiere edition. We'll be talking about professional wrestling uh, from now until the end of time. Until the end of time, because <laughs> professional wrestling is going nowhere. As bad as you think it may be right now, it's not going anywhere. <laughs> uh, favorite Favorite wrestler growing up? Favorite wrestler growing up had to have been probably Dr. Death Steve Williams. Oh, Dr. Death Steve Williams. He was good, or Ted DiBiase, or as Skandor Agbor once called him, Ted DiBiase. Man, uh, DiBiase and Williams were going to split as a tag team late in the, uh, in the UWF, but... Uh, UWF, but the Million Dollar Man, of course, went to, uh, oh, Ted DiBiase went right. to WWE, which was then the WWF to become the Million Dollar Man. And, of course, the w UWF faded away. Mine was the Freebirds. Always walk down Bad Street, baby. Bad Street USA may actually walk right into the Hall of Fame at WrestleMania in Jerry well, World, too. they need to. And because Dallas, of course, the best feud of all time, that's not an opinion, it's a fact. If you disagree with me, you're wrong. The best feud of all time was the Freebirds and the Von Erics. I would have to disagree because I always you thought, right the, to be wrong. I thought the Midnight Express and the Fantastics, that was good stuff. Very too. underrated. Yeah, I like the Fantastics better than I did the Rock and Roll Express. Saw the, the Fantastics Midnight wrestle in Mamu, Louisiana one night. They were past their prime but still put on one hell of a show. I believe it. I believe Okay, Fast Lane right. coming up. It's going to be a weak card. That's what I'm saying. You know, we're looking at the card. I think professional wrestling, the problem now is... There's so much money to be made in professional wrestling. Too many pay-per-views, too many storylines overturning too quick. And what the deal is, there's not a WWE championship here. Nope. And, and, and it, it, it's almost like they're throwing a bunch of stuff together to get you ready for WrestleMania. And it's a bunch of stuff that they're throwing together that they shouldn't be throwing together. First off, our first prediction, Kalisto and Del Rio. Who who you want to go first? Me or you here? You know, I'll go first All on right. this one. Best two out of three falls. I'm going to go with Kalisto because we've seen Del Rio beat him a couple of times. Actually beat him uh, in Lafayette for SmackDown. I was the spoiler who put it all over the internet. I'm going to raise my right hand. <laughs> Sorry, Vince, I did it. But I don't see Del Rio getting the title back again. Neither do I. This is a stupid match in my opinion. They've been feuding since like mid-November and it, it, it nobody can come out the winner of this. If Kalisto wins, it's a situation where he's already been there, done that, and it makes Del Rio look weak. And if Del Rio wins the, uh, the championship, I mean, you devalue Kalisto, so it, it, this, this doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me, but I'm with Chris. I'm going with Kalisto, uh, obviously, and best two out of three falls. He wins two falls to one. I will say this. Al Alberto Del Rio, the best condition he's looked in his entire career. There you go. Uh, second match on the court. A, uh, a women's tag team match featuring Sasha Banks, formerly of Team Bad, and Becky Lynch taking on Team Bad. I'll mm -hmm. go first here. I don't know how you could put Sasha Banks and Becky Lynch together and have them lose the first tag team match. So to me, this one's kind of obvious. I'm going with them, and then here's a, uh, here's a prediction for you. Okay. I say those two don't necessarily split that night, but they will be wrestling against each other the next night. I'll get to that on our next on our next uh, next match that we talk okay. about, but your turn. I think Team Bad takes it, and that's what leads to what you're alluding to. If not alluding to a match at WrestleMania, the biggest stage of them all, I'm going Team Bad. Okay, next match, Charlotte and Brie Bella. You know, I love Brie Bella. I love Charlotte. I think Charlotte's probably the most athletic diva we've seen in a long time in all of professional wrestling. Brie Bella may have hinted a couple of days ago she's going to call it quits during the summertime. The summer, yep. I think she gets the title, then loses it, then leaves. Oh, okay. I like that thinking, but I'm going to go another direction. I say that the WWE is uh, for WrestleMania this year. It's going to be Sasha Banks going up against uh, Charlotte. I say that it's a triple threat match the Monday after. Uh, the, uh, the very next night on Raw, you're going to have Sasha Banks uh, Becky Lynch and in Charlotte in a uh, in a triple threat that will lead to an eventual uh, main event or not a main event at WrestleMania but a WrestleMania match mm -hmm. featuring the featuring the Divas. Okay, uh, Kevin Owens and in uh, in Dolph Ziggler. You know. I like both these guys, yep. but to me, I don't know why, it just seems like the feud already is a little bit old. You know what I'm talking about? I mean, 
again, I like both of these guys. I think maybe in a uh, in another with other opponents between the two of them, maybe I'd love them a little bit more. I don't particularly like this feud though. I, I don't know how you could put the Intercontinental Belt on Kevin Owens and then six days later take it away from him. So from that standpoint, I'm going to go with Kevin Owens. I'm going to go with you. I'm going to side with you because I don't want to be wrong again. But I think Kevin Owens is going to have the Intercontinental title for quite some time. He's not losing this pay-per-view to Dolph Ziggler. And uh, finally, the main event, it's its not even a WWE championship match. It's What's a number one contenders match. Roman Reigns, Brock Lesnar, and Dean Ambrose. Who do you like? Oh, I'm going to go with Roman Reigns just because we're building up to WrestleMania. Roman Reigns is the golden child of WWE right now. You can't knock him down before you get to the big stage. But then again, we're talking about the WWE. Well, it looks like we're counting down to a WrestleMania match between Reigns and, and Triple H. Yeah. I don't know what they're doing, Reigns. They're, they're trying so hard to make him a baby face. And I think actually by winning this match, and I do think he's going to win, he's going to be like a default heel here. I mean, people are going to turn against him even more. But I'm with Chris. I see Roman Reigns winning this match. So that's our five matches coming up from uh, from Fastlane. I'm not counting down the hours to it, though. I'm with you. I don't think it's a great card. It's not going to be a great pay-per-view. It's not going to be a great card. But I do anticipate there being some sort of twist in the upcoming pay-per-view leading us closer to WrestleMania in Dallas, Texas. Excuse me, Arlington, Texas. There you go. That's a wrap on Russell Rap. Fastlane 2016. Enjoy the matches. We'll be back here to review them next week.